up to the ceiling if you're sick of feeling ripped off. I let my fist start, get lit and lift off. Raise your hands if you with me and you pissed off. I'm standing on the corner of 6th Street. I'm running out of time for this week. My head's pounding, stomach shaking. It's worth it, the hunger makes it. I'm gonna look at my satchel, that's what I took a look at. So, I've already got a perfect deer pelt in. I need a perfect badger pelt, perfect squirrel pelt. I need another perfect deer, another perfect elf, perfect panther. Perfect deer, perfect raccoon. So I need like three perfect deers. I need yeah, I need three more perfect deer pelts. Rabbit, beaver. Rabbit, beaver, raccoon, panther, elk, badger, squirrel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. That's fine. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Uh, I need... Good day. Good day. I need uh, ammunition. That's where I want to go. No wonder I couldn't see it. It was fucking blocked by something else. By my own camp, no less. Um, that's my gator skull. Okay. No, I need arrows. That's what I want. Okay. I'm probably going to have to go into town to do this. That's, that's what it boils down to. Speed walking. Oh, that's, that's my horse. There we go. Alright, I don't want to talk to Dutch. Cause fuck Dutch. In his stupid face. And perfect, that takes me right through town. I can go talk to the gunsmith and see if I can maybe get those arrows there. Otherwise, I'll camp and see if it's a crafting thing. Good plan. Good plan. Oh, this way. So it's good to know. I still need like three or four perfect deer pelts so I can allow myself to be a little distracted by that. Uh, yeah, the rolling rock, that's what I want. What are you? That's a two point white tail. Oh, that one's perfect. Do, 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 do. There we go. That sniper rifle's become my best friend. Right. That's a buck. I wasn't paying attention to that. I wonder if that counts as a deer pelt. I don't know. I think that counts as a buck pelt, personally, but whatever. What do you want, boy? This is private property. Interloper whoa, not whoa, be. whoa, whoa. We ain't got this here the gray plantation. Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got Yeah, that's fine. Just please don't uh, fucking shoot me. Oh, 
Well, I thought it better to not just gallop up to your frickin' house. Just saying. No, I'm not gonna like this, am I? Hey, uh, I was hoping you don't look like you're paid for your work. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. <laughs> I ain't got time for this shit. Master Bo, Master Bo Gray. I don't know what I'm going to find in this woodshed, but I doubt I'm going to like it. It's just a guy standing around doing stuff. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secret <laughs> normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. <laughs> I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you guys like the content I'm putting out there. Also, don't forget to check out more videos, especially more Red Dead Redemption 2.